everyone. How is the New Year celebration? Well, we're happy to see you all in a new day of 2021. And here is ASEAN News. Brazil receives 5 million doses of China's Sinovac biotech vaccine. Brazil's Butantan Institute Biomedical Center receives 5.5 million doses of a Chinese vaccine developed by Sinovac Biotech. The lot comprises 2.1 million doses ready for use and another 2,100 liters of inputs corresponding to 3.4 million doses that will be prepared in the Butantan's facilities. After Brazilian researchers say the COVID-19 vaccine developed by China's Sinovac Biotech is more than 50% effective based on trial data, but again withheld full results at the company's request, raising questions about transparency. With this departure of vaccines, we will be ready and we will have about 9 million vaccines available in the Butantan, which can be used already in the middle of January to start the mass vaccination campaign. So great news for all of us, a great Christmas gift for Brazil. Brazil is the first country to complete late-stage trial of the vaccine, but the release of the results, first set for early December, has now been delayed three times. Officials from Sao Paulo state government's Butandan Institute says Sinovac asked them to delay releasing precise efficacy data for the vaccine for up to 15 days while the company consolidates data from global trials. Sinovac will be the second Chinese vaccine maker to produce results from late-stage clinical trials after the United Arab Emirates says that a vaccine from a Beijing-based unit of China National Pharmaceutical Group, Sinopharm, has 86% efficacy. Japan bans entry of foreign nationals after detect new coronavirus cases. The Japanese government announces that it will suspend new entries of non-Japanese nationals through the end of January after detecting a new COVID-19 variant in arrivals from Britain. Japanese Minister of Health, Labor and Welfare says that more cases related to the new variant detected in Britain are reported in Tokyo, the first time the virus detected outside airports in Japan. The country confirms that five people in quarantine at Japanese international airports tested positive for a new COVID-19 variant detected in Britain, and all five returned to Japan from the UK between December 18th and December 21st. The new coronavirus variant is said to have originated in the UK and be potentially more transmissible. Japan confirmed a record 3,881 coronavirus cases on Saturday, 26th of December 2020, while 2,945 new cases were reported on Sunday next day. Reuters reporter positive for coronavirus in Myanmar. Reuters journalist Shong Nain tested positive for the coronavirus in Yangon after two nights of fever and coughing. This story documents her stay at the quarantine facility center over 11 days. Hello, my name is Shong Nain and I'm a Reuters journalist. I was tested positive for COVID and I have been admitted at the facility center in Yangon for 11 days. In November 2020, she tested positive for the virus in her hometown city of Yangon, the commercial capital, after the two nights of fever and persistent coughing, but she doesn't worry too much on the disease. The reporter says she will recover quickly, as young and don't have any underlying conditions that will make her more vulnerable to serious disease. She also advised to eat well and get plenty of rest. She spent her days in quarantine, such as reading books, watching movies, playing with the kids and walking around the compound. It was the beginning of Myanmar's dry season, the days are sunny, with a cool breeze. At night, she video chat with friends on her phone. After avoiding a major coronavirus outbreak at the start of the pandemic, Myanmar is now facing one of the Southeast Asia's worst outbreaks, with more than 116,000 cases and 2,400 deaths. But the country's testing capacity is limited and data is believed to be incomplete. To prevent the fragile healthcare system from being overwhelmed, the government requires anyone who tested positive, as well as their close contacts, to be quarantined at the medical center or hospital, depending on the severity of the symptoms, a policy that has a mixed result. Indonesia government bans international visitors over new virus strain. 
Foreign Minister Retno Marsudi says international visitors bars entering Indonesia for a two-week period in a bid to stem the spread of the new potentially and more contagious variant of the coronavirus. International visitors will be temporarily barred entry from January 1st to 14, 2020. The new regulation effective January 1st come days after Indonesia banned travelers from Britain and tightened rules for those arriving from Europe and Australia to limit the spread of the new strain. The temporary closure for foreigners to enter Indonesia will apply with the exception of high-level officials, who are at least ministerial level and above, and such entries will be carried out with very strict health protocols. The new regulation applies to all foreign visitors, with the exception of high-level government officials. Earlier this year, Indonesia bans all tourists, but some exemption have been made for business travelers. The Health Ministry announces 5,854 new confirmed COVID-19 cases, bringing the total number of infections nationwide to 719,219. United States military in South Korea gets vaccine delivery to combat COVID-19 disease. United States Forces Korea says the first batch of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine arrives at the United States Army bases in South Korea and distributed to the three military facilities. Moderna Inc.'s vaccine became the second to receive emergency use authorization from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, clearing the way for millions of doses to be released for all out. United States Army General Gustav Perna says that the United States government and its partners will distribute 4.67 million doses of Pfizer Inc. and Moderna Inc.'s COVID-19 vaccine this week, bringing the total number of the doses slated for shipment this year to around 20 million. United States Forces Korea Commander General Robert Abrams says in its statement that the vaccine will be first be administered to frontline healthcare workers and first responders and that additional shipments of the vaccine will enable to inoculate all United States Forces Korea affiliated community members as production and distributions increases. The United States Forces Korea adds that South Korea is one of the four overseas locations in the United States Defense Department's initial phase distribution plan. Roughly 28,500 United States troops are stationed in South Korea. Indonesia signs agreement for 100 million doses of coronavirus vaccine. The country's foreign minister says Indonesia signs an agreement with true drug makers AstraZeneca and Novavax for 100 million doses of vaccines. Foreign Minister Retno Marsudi says at a news conference the government is working on bilateral and multilateral channels to secure more vaccines for the world's fourth most populous country. Hari ini kita menandatangani dua Today we signed two agreements to secure 50 million doses of vaccines, each from Novavax and AstraZeneca. We will continue to work to secure more vaccines for the country through bilateral channels. On the multilateral front, we are also working with WHO, GAVI, CIPI and other organizations to secure vaccines for 3 to 20 percent of our people. Indonesian Health Minister Budi Gunawan Sadikin says Indonesia already buy two vaccines from global company. They will distribute it and they will vaccinate people to fight the COVID-19 disease. Buying two jenis vaccine dari dua perusahaan besar dunia ini. Buying the two vaccines from the two global companies, US-based Novavax and UK-based AstraZeneca, give us enough variation of vaccines to provide to the people of Indonesia. I'm grateful that the first phase of the vaccine preparation is done. And in one or two weeks from now, the health ministry will look into phase two and how to distribute the vaccines. The deal secured vaccine supplies of 50 million doses each from AstraZeneca and Novavax. The country's 1. million frontline health workers will get priority in the first wave of vaccinations between January and April. Public servants will be next in line for shots with those infections red zones aged between 18 and 59 prioritized in the second round of vaccinations. 
So far, Indonesian Health Minister registered 758,473 coronavirus cases with 22,555 deaths and 625,518 has recovered. Thailand ushers a new year with brief fireworks show amid virus outbreak. Thailand ushered in the new year with a display of fireworks and light show, a Tontown celebration after the country was hit with its worst coronavirus wave yet. I think it's much quieter than the previous years. In other years, we'd be celebrating, getting together with family and relatives. This year, we had to separately celebrate, stay at home, and find places near our homes to go to. We celebrate with a bit of fear and try to keep myself safe from the virus by wearing masks and constantly wash my hands with alcohol gel. I have to keep reminding myself that we have to keep this routine up if we want to live happily. The sound and light show lasted just five minutes along the iconic Chao Phraya River with messages of support read aloud to encourage people around the world to get through the pandemic. The health ministry confirms 250 new infections among the largest number of confirmed daily cases since a big outbreak found around two weeks ago that was the country's largest yet. Large crowd gathering to watch fireworks, celebrating New Year amid pandemic. Thousands of people gathered in Hanoi to welcome New Year amid the coronavirus pandemic. Vietnam's capital was one of the very few cities around the world where a large crowd allowed to gather for New Year's Eve celebrations this year as the world battles COVID-19. The wearing of masks in public places remain compulsory, but otherwise firework displays and parties in major cities were due to go ahead without restrictions on the number of attendees. The country's borders remain closed and anyone coming in is subject to 14 days quarantine. Vietnam's economic growth slowed to 2.91% in 2020, its lowest level in at least 30 years due to the COVID-19 pandemic, natural disasters and sluggish global economy. Vietnam, which has had just 1,456 infections and 35 deaths from the coronavirus disease, decided against additional measures for the new year. Singapore begins COVID-19 vaccination with new chapter to fight COVID-19. Singapore began vaccinating healthcare workers with Pfizer-BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccine, kicking off one of Asia's first inoculation programs against the pandemic that has killed more than 1.7 million people globally. Sarah Lim, a 46-year-old nurse and 43-year-old infectious diseases doctor, Kalisfar Marimutu, are among the more than 30 staff of the National Center for Infectious Diseases who are vaccinated. They will return for the second dose of the vaccine on January 20. I'm very thankful that I'm being vaccinated first. I uh, hope uh, to encourage others uh, to get vaccinated to, to protect themselves against uh, COVID. Yeah, it's, being the first one, I feel very grateful. Singapore is the first country in Asia to approve the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. It has also signed advanced purchase agreements and made early down payments on several other vaccine candidates, including those being developed by Moderna and Sinovac. It has been a long journey for us to reach here. So um, it has been tough for all of us and uh, with me, my colleagues, my neighbours, my friends, family and all. And uh, we all have lived uh, a year that has we have never expected. So, and vaccines have done their tricks in the past for other pandemic. Vaccines managed to bring pandemic uh, down to uh, their knees before. So I'm hopeful that this vaccine will do the same. 
It expects to have enough vaccine doses for all 5.0 million people by the third quarter of 2021. Japanese people visit Meiji Shrine and pray for New Year with medical protocol. Thousands of people in Japan visit Meiji Shrines in central Tokyo to pray for the end of the pandemic in the new year as the country currently faces a third wave of coronavirus infections. The coronavirus situation has been ongoing for a while, so I pray it for a speedy end to the pandemic. I hope crisis can be turned into opportunities, including things during work. And I also hope to get through the year by enjoying the new ways that I can connect with friends. New Year's Day is the biggest holiday in Japan's calendar, but this year's festivities has been subdued following record highs in new coronavirus cases nationwide and calls from the government to stay home. New Year's Day festivities in Japan involve spending time with family and praying at local shrines where hordes of people wish for good luck in the coming year. But it was a quieter affair than usual at Meiji Shrine, with visitors in face masks queuing while staying socially distant. Japan's Emperor Naruhito appeals to the public to work together through the pandemic in a videotaped New Year's Day. About 3,480 people have died in Japan from around 235,700 cases during the pandemic so far. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you.